start building your shield of anonymity, you need the right tools. The most common and accessible tool is a virtual private network, or VPN. A VPN creates a secure, encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet. It routes your traffic through a server in another location. This makes it look like you're browsing from that server's location, not your own. Your internet service provider can see that you're connected to a VPN, but they can't see what you're doing. A good no-logs VPN is the first layer of defense for anyone serious about their privacy. The next tool in your kit should be the Tor Browser. Tor stands for the Onion Router. It works by bouncing your internet traffic through a series of volunteer-operated servers called nodes. Each hop in the chain is encrypted like layers of an onion. Only the final server, the exit node, can see your traffic, but it doesn't know where you came from. The entry node knows who you are, but not where you are going. This makes it extremely difficult to trace your activity back to you. Tor is essential for accessing the internet with a high degree of anonymity. For an even stronger defense, you should consider a specialized operating system. Tails is a live operating system that you can run from a USB stick. It forces all your internet connections to go through the Tor network. When you shut it down, it leaves no trace on the computer you used. It's amnesic, meaning it forgets everything you did during the session. Another option is Hunix, which is designed to run inside virtual machines. It isolates your network activity from your main operating system, making it much harder for malware or trackers to compromise your real identity. These three tools, a VPN, the Tor browser, and a secure operating system like Tails or Hunix form the foundation of online anonymity. Using a VPN hides your IP address from websites. Using Tor makes your traffic very difficult to trace. Using a secure OS prevents your computer itself from leaking information about you. Each tool provides a different layer of protection. When used together correctly, they create a formidable barrier against surveillance. This is the basic setup that many privacy-conscious individuals, including ethical hackers, use to protect their digital lives. So for those who need an even higher level of security, basic tools are just not enough. Hackers and security professionals, you know, often use advanced methods to create more layers of protection. One popular technique is to combine a VPN with the Tor network. This is known as VPN over Tor, or Tor over VPN. In a Tor over VPN setup, you first connect to your VPN and then open the Tor browser. Your ISP only sees encrypted traffic going to a VPN server, while the Tor network does not see your real IP address, it only sees the IP address of the VPN server. This uh, adds another strong layer of misdirection. Another advanced technique is using proxy chains. A proxy server is an intermediary that sits between you and the internet, kind of like a single VPN server. A proxy chain involves routing your traffic through multiple proxy servers in a sequence. Each proxy only knows the IP address of the one before it. A long, well-configured chain of proxies from different countries can make tracing your connection nearly impossible. However, this method can be slow, and honestly, it requires a lot of technical skill to set up correctly. Plus, you must trust each proxy in the chain not to keep logs or be compromised. Physical devices also play a critical role in advanced anonymity. Many hackers use burner devices, cheap laptops or phones that are bought with cash and used only for anonymous activities. These devices are never connected to personal accounts or home Wi-Fi networks. They're often used on public Wi-Fi, like in a coffee shop or library, and then physically destroyed or discarded when no longer needed. This practice prevents any link between the anonymous online persona and the hacker's real-world identity or their personal, trusted machines. The physical separation is a key security principle. Finally, financial transactions can be a weak point. Using a credit card or a standard bank account leaves a clear paper trail. To avoid this, hackers often use privacy-focused cryptocurrencies. While Bitcoin transactions are public on the blockchain, currencies like Monero or Zcash are designed with privacy features built in. They use advanced cryptography to hide the sender, receiver, and amount of each transaction. This makes it extremely difficult to follow the money. Combining a burner device, public Wi-Fi, Tor, and a privacy coin creates a powerful setup for anonymous operations. Tools and technology are only part of the equation. 
the most secure software in the world, just cannot protect you from human error. This is where operational security, or OPSEC, comes in. OPSEC is a set of rules and habits you must follow to protect your anonymity. It's really a mindset. The most important rule is to never ever mix your real identity with your anonymous identity. Do not use your real name, email address, or any personal information on your anonymous accounts. Don't even use the same slang or writing style. Any small link can be used to connect the dots. Your online habits must be disciplined. Never log into your personal social media, email, or bank accounts while using your anonymous setup. Even a single accidental login can compromise your entire operation. It's like wearing a perfect disguise, but then calling out your own name. You must also be careful about the information you reveal in conversations. Don't talk about your real-life job, your city, or your hobbies. Seemingly innocent details can be pieced together by a skilled investigator to build a profile and eventually identify you. Silence and misdirection are your best friends. Disable any features that could leak your location. This means turning off GPS on your devices. It also means being careful about photos you take and share. Metadata hidden in image files, called EXIF data, can contain the exact GPS coordinates of where the photo was taken, as well as the make and model of the device. Always strip this metadata before uploading anything. Furthermore, use anonymous SIM cards or eSIMs for any mobile devices. These are purchased without providing personal identification, breaking the link between the phone number and your real identity. Consistency is key to good OPSEC. You must follow these rules every single time you operate. One mistake can undo months or even years of careful work. Think of it as a performance. You are playing a character, and you must never break character. This requires constant vigilance and self-control. The human factor is always the weakest link in any security chain. Therefore, practicing strict OPSEC is more important than having the most advanced technical tools. It is the discipline that separates the amateur from the professional ghost. It's crucial to understand a hard truth. Perfect, 100% untraceable anonymity is a myth. Every system has potential weaknesses. Every tool has limitations. The goal is not to become completely invisible, because that is impossible. The goal is to make it so difficult, so expensive, and so time-consuming to trace you that it is just not worth the effort for most adversaries. You are building layers of security to raise the cost of discovery. You're playing a game of cat and mouse, and your objective is to stay many steps ahead of the cat. Even the most sophisticated tools can be flawed. A vulnerability could be discovered in the Tor browser. A no-logs VPN provider could be lying or could be forced by a government to start logging data. A flaw in an operating system could allow an attacker to bypass all your protections. These are known as zero-day exploits because the developers have zero days to fix them once they are discovered by attackers. Highly funded adversaries like state intelligence agencies actively search for and purchase these kinds of vulnerabilities to defeat anonymity systems. The people behind the tools can also be a weak point. The volunteers who run Tor nodes could be malicious. They could be government agents running nodes to monitor traffic. The exit node, in particular, is a point of risk because it's where your traffic leaves the Tor network and becomes unencrypted. If you are not using a secure connection like HTTPS, the operator of the exit node can see everything you are doing. This is why it is so important to use end-to-end -end encryption whenever possible, even when you are already using Tor. This essay is for educational purposes only. The techniques described are used by a wide range of people, from journalists to cybersecurity professionals, to protect themselves online. They are presented here to help you understand the landscape of digital privacy and security. Using these tools to engage in illegal activities is against the law and carries severe consequences. The goal of this information is to promote awareness and encourage ethical defensive use of privacy tech technology. Knowledge is power, and understanding these methods helps you better protect your own digital life. The quest for online anonymity in 2025 is an ongoing battle. The landscape is constantly changing. As new privacy tools are developed, new methods of surveillance are also created to defeat them. Staying anonymous requires more than just downloading a piece of software. 
It requires continuous learning, adaptation, and discipline. You must stay informed about the latest threats and vulnerabilities. You must regularly update your tools and your strategies. Complacency is the enemy of security. The moment you think you are perfectly safe is the moment you are most at risk. Your best defense is a layered defense. Do not rely on a single tool or technique. Combine multiple methods to create a robust security posture. Use a VPN, Tor, and a secure operating system together. Practice strict OPSEC and never let your guard down. Each layer adds another obstacle for anyone trying to track you. If one layer fails, the others may still hold. The more layers you have, the more work an adversary has to do. This layered approach, often called defense in depth, is a core principle of modern cybersecurity. Remember that you control what information you share. Be mindful of the digital breadcrumbs you leave behind every day. Think before you click, post, or share. Question why a service needs your data and what it will be used for. Take proactive steps to minimize your digital footprint. Use privacy-respecting alternatives to common services whenever possible. Your privacy is your responsibility, and it is a right worth fighting for. The choices you make every day determine how much of that right you get to keep in an increasingly connected world. Ultimately, the goal is to achieve a balance. You want to be able to use the internet freely and safely without giving up your identity. For some, this means using a few basic tools to protect their everyday browsing. For others with higher threat models, it requires the advanced and disciplined approach we have discussed. Whatever your needs, the key is to be intentional. Understand the risks, choose your tools wisely, and never stop learning. In the digital world, vigilance is not just a habit, it is a means of survival. Stay safe, stay smart,